Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and today we're going to be continuing Young Sheldon with part four of season three. Okay, I am excited for this. I've been excited for the show pretty much the whole entire time. It's been fun. There are some moments that are stale, but other moments are really great and I love the wholesomeness of this show. That's like the biggest like thing that pulls people in. At least for me it does. But, hope you guys enjoy this reaction. If you'd like to watch my full-length reaction to Young Sheldon on my Patreon, go ahead and check the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's go ahead and continue Young Sheldon. In many ways, a high school is like an academic house of horrors. There's oh boy. the cafeteria, which when even freshly cleaned, maintains a subtle aroma of tater tots and throw up. Oh my the god. schoolyard, and attacks from above by eye-pecking demons. Birds. Got it. But all of these pale in comparison to the most horrific location of all. A place the gym? teeming with the sweat and secretions from hundreds of unwashed Oh, bodies. the pool. Take it up with your congressman. I did. He's going to he do that. Return my calls. <laughs> then I guess you're swimming tomorrow. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Why do you like that? That's Except for the laughter, the glowing eyes, and the lightning, that's exactly how it happened. I understand you're seeing someone new. Tell me everything. No. I <laughs> assume that uh, as friends we could tell each other about our personal lives. Trust me, John. You, you, you don't want to hear about these things. Actually, I do. So far, so good. Well, that sounds wonderful. Good for you. Thank you. Now, would you like to hear about the women I'm dating? You're not You're dating any. Dating Eddie. other women? <laughs> Heavens, no. Swimming's a sport, and you're a sports person. <laughs> and he's a mama's boy, and you're his mama. Checkmate. How about we do it together? How about no? <laughs> Fine, but you can't hang me out to dry. And Jane Goodall observed the chimpanzees. And for some reason, Dr. Sturgis wanted to observe my Meemaw's new suitor. Well, you know the reason, but yeah. Excuse me, just for one second. <laughs> well, protect your private parts. Oh. Well, I can see how that might be useful. Well, this has been very informative. Well, when I played Thank football, you. they weren't very comfortable, I'll tell you that. You're welcome. You just, uh, if you have any more questions, you let me know. Yeah, because that wasn't awkward at all. Georgie. I want you to keep an eye on that weirdo over there. I know that weirdo. He used to date my Mima. That guy? Yeah. He's like super smart. <laughs> I went to the sporting goods store to check out your new fella. Did you speak to him? Oh, yes. In fact, he sold me an athletic supporter to protect my genitals. Good. <laughs> you may want to be wearing that next time I see you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, get the get the hint. <laughs> Your mother wants you to swim, George. Mom, who's ready to suck eggs? <laughs> that was perfectly timed. Mm. Wow. That was the lamest tantrum I've ever seen. Oh God. I used Ugh. to love the pool, but we didn't have I one in my don't high school. You like me. You're full of bacteria. So are you. But you don't hear me saying, ugh. It's rude. Is that Look, Kaylee Cuoco's voice? I pool water, but I still have feelings. Yeah, that's literally it's Kaylee Cuoco's water. voice. A little closer. Nah, uh, she's got to pull him in. Gotcha! Oh my god. <laughs> pool monster! <laughs> I don't feel well. What's wrong, baby? I'll go make you some tea. Oh, come on. You can tell. Welcome to the dark side. No. <laughs> Ma, you love school. Swim test. Oh, sure. You would die. If you're going to do this, let me give you some pointers. You've done this before? Hell yeah, he has. Tell him. The sore throats. I slept on the couch during those. I know. <laughs> First of all, you got to cough even when Mom's not in the room. Got it. <coughs> Don't be afraid to let her look in your throat. She's checking to see if it's red. But it's always red. 
You are good. Literally, what is she going to see? Try spitting up a little flame. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to hear that. Mary, come on. No, I am not changing my mind. My little boy is not a liar. Well, <laughs> why do we have gifts? Connie, oh. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> I overstepped the bounds of friendship. Sorry. John. That's a giant cookie. <laughs> Hello. So why in the hell was your ex-boyfriend send me a giant cookie? <laughs> Sorry, I spied on you. Soft kitty, warm. Really? Kitty, this is the first time we hear this. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Soft liar, warm liar, little <laughs> ball of fib, fib. Oh my God! Does she know? Feel Wait, better? That's in his mind. Uh -uh. <laughs> I had to make this right. I could confess and break my mother's heart, or I could turn my lie into the truth and actually get myself sick. Oh no. Hi, Sheldon. Oh Hello, God. Lizzie. I hear you're not feeling well. Just shake my hand, Billy. But my mom says that's how germs get spread. I know. You do? When did you talk to my mom? <laughs> oh God, oh God, oh God. Wait, wanna play? Why would you want to play? You're sick. I'm sorry about all that stuff with John. I, he means well, but sometimes he can just be a, a little quirky. No, I kind of figured that. Yeah, I watched him play ping pong with his own crotch. <laughs> I don't know what that is. He's Sheldon's college professor. Smart, short, and weird. Well, that's a whole package right there. Ha okay, that's enough. Well, I gotta ask. Do you feel like you're dating a supermodel right now? No. Young man. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Not Batman talking to him. Sick. You should be ashamed of yourself. But I was afraid to go in the pool. You are in a pool. A pool of your own deceit. <laughs> if my mother were alive, I'd wow. never lie to her. And he trips and he falls and lands face first on the plate. Lost a tooth. We won the game. Get this. He finds a tooth two days later. Oh no. When he goes to the bathroom. Yeah, these aren't interesting stories. Hey, you don't understand. He found the tooth. I got it. What's going on? You okay? Actually, no. I don't like the way you've been talking about John. There it is. Your weirdo ex comes sneaking around checking me out, and all of a sudden I'm the bad guy here? You don't get to call him a weirdo. Literally. You don't think he's a weirdo? Of course he's a weirdo. You just can't say it. Are you saying that I'm being naughty? Yeah. You're threatening to oh, no. punish me. Oh no. Because I might like that. What is wrong with you? <laughs> See, you're trying to be mad at me and can't. Now you are getting punished. Check, please. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he skipped all the way oh, through to baby. dessert. What are you doing out of bed? I feel terrible about it. You should feel terrible. I trusted you. I'm sorry. Well, now he's got to be sick because he I went so all over Billy. That pool, so I let Georgie and Missy teach me how to fake it. They said it was easy, but it wasn't. It really wasn't. Georgie and Missy taught you how to do this? That's I not the point. Tell a lie. They sure did. As far as your father is concerned, you were sick. Isn't that lying? Yes. Yeah. Well. No. She doesn't want to be wrong. I returned to school. I had no choice but to fulfill my swimming requirement. As it happens, my interaction with Billy Sparks did get me sick. I, oh. in turn, created a small epidemic, taking down 128 students. Four and teachers, a teacher. Oh, God. And one principal. It didn't stop there. I also infected my mother. Oh. Father. Sister's oh. brother. However, in an unrelated incident, he crashed his bike into some garbage cans. <laughs> Luckily, he landed on his recently acquired athletic cup. That was a wise purchase. Wow. Well. The Bible says a lot about love. Love thy neighbor, for God so loved the world. In 1 Corinthians, it says, love is patient, love is kind. How come she can scare me? I want it. How come you're not shushing me? Shh. As thyself. Shh. 
Sometimes love is about the little things. Pastor Jeff's girlfriend. For love. Mom set them up and now she thinks she's cool. Shh. Is born of God. But I did set them up. Cool. So let's see what Jesus has to say. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Pastor Jeff, do chickens go to heaven? Yep. Well, well, the Bible doesn't say much about the souls of animals, but I like to believe that God loves all his creatures. She stopped laying eggs, so it's off with her head and into the fryer. Well, that's the I will traditional pray way. For her little chicken soul. <laughs> Just pray she's juicy. Hello, Coopers. Nice to see you as always. Lovely sermon today. Ugh, church and football? At least 60 minutes is on tonight. Everything Literally, that was me. I didn't like going to church as a kid or watching football. Quiet, but we have decided to get married. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're not. No. Because we haven't, you know. But we would like to. But we can't because I'm a pastor. But we can once we're married. So so oh, that's a bad idea. Or maybe Saturday. That's Ooh, a bad way to do Saturday. it. They're getting married just to have sex. That's not okay. That's That's not okay. And that's not very godly of you to begin with. Okay, let me stop my rant. <laughs> they want this done by next weekend. Well, he knocked her up. Then there. <laughs> no, he is a man of God. He cannot have a physical relationship outside holy matrimony. He's still a man. Oh, that's the rush. I need you to help out. Cooking's not that hard, George. I do it all the time. Jeff wants to get lucky, and I pay the price. I am asking you to take care of your children. And I'm asking you, why can't your mother do it? George. The man works all week. All he wants is to literally chill and watch the game on the weekends. Got it. Zelda. Sure again. can. He's everything. Billy, you raised her from a check. She's like your child. Oh, no. They recorded Baywatch over Star Trek. <clears throat> He's gonna have a whole meltdown. <laughs> Not David Hasselhoff. Georgie. Georgie, why are there bathing suit ladies where Captain Picard should be? The television station's in Houston. Drive me there. I'm sure they have a copy of it. I'm not driving to Houston. Well, then I should warn you. I am very unhappy. Okay. Okay. In fact, I am peeved. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For a honeymoon? How nice. Where y'all going? Oh, we don't really plan on leaving the bedroom. Yeah, this is well, not a good um, reason to we have a lot get to married. Discuss. Nothing fancy, just elegant. Right, but a plain bare bones elegance. He's talking How like Garden of Eden type. It doesn't <laughs> have to be big. I've been married before. Elegant, bare bones, unforgettable, simple, special day. Now let's talk centerpieces. None of my friends had recorded the episode. I called Tam. There's a chicken. Oh God, Missy, did you take the chicken? That sounds like a concerned chicken. Oh my God. The hell's going on? He has KFC. How could you? That's Whoa. great. Would you look at these sugar flowers? I'm too busy looking at the price tag. Judas Priest. Oh, you can't skimp on the cake. It's the focal point of the entire wedding. How about this? You get a bunch of ding-dongs, stack them in the shape of a heart. Everybody's happy. Maybe they have some stale ones in the back that you can disappoint your bride with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here I am. Good luck. Oh, come on, help me out. What are you doing to help? I called your ass over here. Where's Mary? <laughs> At church, planning Pastor Jeff's wedding. And she left you in charge? Yeah. Well, that was dumb. Thank you. Okay, let's split up. Ooh. Okay. I'll take the chicken problems. Girl in bedroom, all yours. Because that would probably be more complicated. Shouldn't she be here to pick her wedding dress? Why are you looking at them for her? Would you like to try it on? Oh, no, I'm not here for me. Just helping a friend. Should we pull some dresses for Robin? I suppose. How about that? Oh, she'd hate that. Keep looking. Why? 
Come Barry, on, what's going on with you? Get chicken out of there. Why are you not in that bedroom? Well, I'm just thinking of what to say. <laughs> They're teenagers. If you wait any longer, you'll be done. I'm just gonna grab a beer. George! Literally. Georgie? Where are we supposed to sit? Just not on a bed. Whatever. And why is this girl here? Like, Georgie didn't even tell him. He's just mad because we're young and he's not. <laughs> Good. I made him sit on the floor. Did you knock up my daughter and ruin her life? Wait, I know the answer. <laughs> hey, for your information, Mary is very happy. <laughs> oh, God. Was their wedding not right? good? Like, is that what Thank this is you. all about? She won't have to go down to City Hall wearing the only thing that still fits because she's trying to hide the fact that she's pregnant. Wow. Uh -huh. So that's what happened. You know what takes two people to get pregnant, right? I know that. Does Georgie? Probably. We got cable now. <laughs> Dad? What? Is Matilda still in my closet? What? That's a yes. The bathroom's flooding! Because you what tried happened? to clog the... I flushed the chicken leg and water started going everywhere. Chickens were your job. Oh my god, all those towels. Maybe you're being punished. Maybe I'm a bad person. Oh. That went in my mouth. Stay back. what I do? You taped over my Star Trek episode. So? So now I may never get to see it. What if it was a two-parter? I can't start a two-parter on part two. That's madness. I think I'm gonna go. What? That means see you tomorrow in Spanish class. I was going to ask how you thought you did on Friday's quiz, but I'm guessing the answer is no bueno. <laughs> Adios. Now he's roasting people in Spanish too. <laughs> Every bride dreams of walking down the aisle and I never got to have that. Still on you. Okay. I'm sorry, I'll stop. Hey. <laughs> Even though I'm looking fly, I'm still your pastor. Overnight, I became a wife and a mother. I feel like I missed out on a lot. Well, sometimes the Lord has his own plans for us. And if it helps, Robin and I always talk about how much we admire you and your family. Really? You know what? Let's get back to planning your wedding. Oh, no. You're done. You may be a great wife and mother, but you stink at this. That's fair. My God. And he said that with a smile. <laughs> You're of an age where your body has urges. <laughs> oh my God. George, you need to hear from both of you. <laughs> well, who do you want to hear from? This next part's so great. What is happening? Who the hell is that? The Academy? <laughs> That's Will Wheaton. <laughs> Wesley Crusher was just accepted into Starfleet Academy, and for his final mission, he's accompanying Picard on a shuttle mission to Pintoris 5. Oh, he's not a friend, he's a stranger. I met him on a Star Trek bulletin board. He had a copy of the episode Georgie taped over and brought it here. Hello, I'm Nathan. Yeah, Nathan, we gotta I'm talk, have buddy. To ask you to leave. Yeah, bye, Nathan. Nathan. Does anyone read us? Oh my god, what the hell happened to that thing? I know your mom will want me to tell you to wait till marriage, but I also know. You're probably not going to. Did you? No. Same thing, but with your privates. Please leave. Thank you. <laughs> Georgie's like, I had enough of this. You will be missed. Oh. That was excellent. Yeah, top notch. Get out. Want to beam up? Energize. What the hell? Okay, that last part didn't happen, but boy, would that have been neat. That was so neat. Literally. I forgot my tape. I miss him already. <laughs> the hell? Robin and Jeffrey, by their solemn vows, freely made before God. Pastor Jeff and Officer Robin finally had their ceremony. Oh my God. Oh, we're getting somewhere else. Nope. Okay, bye. Stop. Stop, you're a pastor. <laughs> All this aggravation ain't satisfaction in me. No tone, no tone. Oh, there it is. Wow. <laughs> Where are they going in such a hurry? Well, we don't unwrap their presents. Something's getting unwrapped. Told you. <laughs> no more coffee? Last cup. Will you mind making more? I just sat down. 
But you finished the pot. George, if I wanted to make a cup of coffee, I'd have stayed at my house. Guess who was getting a divorce? Uh oh. About time. Congrats. Linda oh, wow. And Barry Swanson. Who's that? And can you tell me why you make coffee? They're Paige's parents. <laughs> and the little smart girl. Apparently, They're actually getting the divorce. She's getting the divorce really hard. Paige is going to spend the weekend with us. My history with Paige brought up complicated feelings. She challenged me. Do you know if he'll be doing a full color octic calculation with matrix manipulations? I know you're in my spot. She disturbed me. <laughs> Jesus. Things were simpler for my simple-minded sister. Yay! <laughs> Jelly, I got you something. The Professor Proton Science Kit. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Last time you gave me a present for no reason, I had to get a booster shot. This was the woman who cut the crusts off my sandwiches. She had me. Into the mouth I go. <laughs> Dang, Georgie, you're getting cut. Why haven't you mowed along? I've been busy. Get out there and mow. Why? I'm making good money. I don't need an allowance, so I don't need to do chores. It's not about that. Well, you're part of this family. You still need to help out. So I'm just here to do your bidding? Well, and people say Sheldon's a genius. <laughs> Come on, dude. I love mowing the grass. I'm not going to lie. Am I just weird? I like to do stuff like that. Please be sensitive about the situation with Paige's family. She's talking to you, dingus. Both of you. I'd rather have pink hair than together, parents. I don't blame you. Paige has got a whole new look going on. Well, it's about time. Wow. He paid. He paid him to do it. Really? Did Georgie put you up to this? Yeah, he's paying me. That dummy. I'm using the money to buy a jet ski. <laughs> I gotta go yell at my idiot son. Georgie, where are you? Oh, God. He's mad. You look great, by the way. Oh, thanks. I started smoking again. You can't just buy your way out of everything in life. You sure? Because I give you ten bucks to leave me alone right now. Go mow the lawn. I'm not going to say it again. Fine. But I'm only doing this so you'll get off my back. Oh, you'll know when I'm on your back, little man. <laughs> Paige, you're supposed to be doing science with me. That's boring. I oh wow! Something dangerous. Oh wow! This is dangerous. We don't have an eye wash station. Let's go to the mall. Don't worry, I'll ask her. Ever <laughs> since my parents got divorced, people can't say no to me. My mom promised she would take me to the mall to get me a new backpack, but she was so busy cleaning my Not stuff Paige out of the garage, lying. She forgot. Oh, of course I can take you. Will you marry me? <laughs> Why are you taking a backpack to the mall? This is my mall safety kit. Hey, Paige, where should we go to get your backpack? The Hello Kitty store. I would help you find it, but this subpar mall map isn't even oriented north. Let's go. All right, have fun at the Hello Kitty store and meet me at the fountain in half an hour. Just to be clear, there are no actual kitties, right? I had to tell him three times to mow the lawn. He still gave me attitude. He's going to school, holding down a job. If he was my kid, I'd be proud of him. I am proud that of him. That was terrible. He's not being a total pain in my ass. I teach and coach teenage boys. I also put up with your childish nonsense. <laughs> George is just being so damn disrespectful. I don't want to reward that. All right. My father never said he was proud of me. Turned Doesn't out make just it fun. right. Did George? you? George? Are you guys stealing? Because if you are, I am prepared to literally blow the whistle on you. Okay. Okay. Paige, right, so we around. need to talk. Let's just get girl. out of here. An earring where an earring does not belong. No. Hey, I've already mowed the lawn. I know. Thanks for doing that. So what do you want? Well, I was thinking you and I could go grab a burger. Why? Wow. The fact that that's Which his restaurant? initial reaction though tells me Why that George didn't spend well, enough McDonald's time with him. McDonald's burgers are fine. Sometimes I like flame broiled. Fine, we can go to Burger King. Then let's go to Whataburger. <laughs> okay, but I hope you're not this cranky the whole meal. <laughs> you said you're proud of my job. I don't think you are. You know what? Forget lunch. Let's just go home. Smart. Save some money for your truck. Georgie. That's he's it. Gonna, he's going to make him walk. You're walking. 
I had survived a perilous trip to the accessories. Not gonna lie, that's... But it turned out, the real accessory was me. <laughs> he looks so pissed. I can't believe you stole. You're so smart. Why are you acting like this? Maybe I don't want to be smart. I have to sit down. Being smart sucks. God, Georgie's Swim sweating. Here? Dad kicked me out of his truck. I had to walk back. <laughs> what dumb thing did you say or do? How do you know I'm the one who did something dumb? Because it's always you. Shine at it. He's glad I'm making money, but I'm not allowed to use that money to help him out. I don't get it. Well, someday when you have a bunch of sweaty, mullet-headed kids running around, you will. Oh, I ain't never having kids. Well, that's the smartest thing I ever heard you say. Thank you. <laughs> do you ever wish that you weren't smart? So I would be short, lonely, and stupid? No, that seems worse. Why do you ask? Do you remember Paige? Of course, brilliant little girl. I know, but she says that she doesn't want to be smart anymore. Well, perhaps she's experiencing some sort of identity crisis. Instead of trying to fix her problem, you just listen. When I was in the psychiatric ward, I learned that people who are struggling emotionally often just need to be heard. Hmm. Sounds difficult, but I suppose I could try. Some people believe they're weird mole men living in tunnels deep inside the earth. Well, this has been mostly helpful. And you're <laughs> mostly welcome. Sorry. No problem. I get that Georgia is just trying to help, but no, it doesn't work that way. Missy, I need a moment with Paige. Make it quick. I'm only half beautiful. Yeah? I'm listening. To what? To you. You're being weird. Not in the usual way. Guess that's my life now. Hmm. What do you mean? Everyone is acting weird. My sister's crying all the time. I just wish that everything could go back to the way it was. I came from a divorced family. I don't think it will. I get it. I have to live in two separate houses. And my grandma says the meanest things about my dad. I know that everyone is upset that I'm not doing well in school. Everything that used to seem important to me just doesn't anymore. That sounds hard. Yeah. It is. Dr. Sturgis was right. There was nothing I could do to fix this. Or so I thought. Can I offer you a hot beverage? <laughs> is that where it started? <laughs> Be right back. Oh, God. Is that where it started? Go-to method of dealing with someone in emotional distress. And it mm -hmm. always worked. Except when my wife was in labor, where it was suggested I throw it in my own face. Paige is feeling sad, so I'm making her a hot beverage. Oh, you're a good kid. I'm proud of you. Of all my accomplishments, I don't know why he singled this moment out, but I'm glad he did. See, Stop. oh my God. I don't think you're supposed to put that stuff on your face. At least not that much. Alright, so that was part four of season three for young Sheldon. And I gotta say, some pretty good episodes there. That last one was probably my favorite one. Um, just because it showed two different storylines going on. With George needing to be proud of his kids and with Paige's drama. Not really drama, but life hardships that she has going on right now. And I, I resonated with it because not a lot of people know this, but I came from a, a I don't want to say broken family because we weren't broken, but we I came from a divorced family. I My parents got divorced when I was five, but I know what it's like to grow up in two different houses and have multiple birthday parties and Christmases and Halloweens and all that stuff like that. It's not a lot of fun. It really isn't. And like the animosity some people can hold towards other people on each side of the family 
can be a little draining for the child. So if you're having those issues, I understand that. I get it. I'm a great listener. If people need to talk, I love doing that. I love hearing what people are going through because then it can sort of tie, kind of help them, give them a little bit of life advice. But other than that, you know, it's been been tough growing up with that sort of situation. So I get where Paige is coming from with that. But at the end of the day, you can't lose who you are and who you are inside. But hope you guys enjoyed that reaction. If you'd like to watch my full-length reaction to Young Sheldon on my Patreon, go ahead and check the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.